Good morning. I'm Roger Numbers. It's Wednesday, February 18th. It was revealed earlier this week that two nuclear submarines had collided deep in the Atlantic. They had enough weapons on board for 1,248 Hiroshimas. We have questions. How can something like this happen? These submarines are better at hiding than seeking. They're almost two football fields long, but they're about as loud as this guy. The sonar they use wouldn't likely detect another sub. It's called the silent service. That's the Royal Navy Submarine Service. If you're silent, you can't be detected other than bump into another one. And they don't have windows. Nuclear submarines ran into each other? Is that as bad as it sounds? Both submarines remain safe and no injuries occurred. While there was no radioactive leak, the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament called it a nuclear nightmare of the highest order. Has this ever happened before? Some early subs were designed to ram ships. This one, from the 1800s, was supposed to. It also had an explosive at the end of a long pole. Collisions are rare, but it does happen. In 1998, two U.S. nuclear-powered subs collided near New York. Why do we have nuclear submarines? With submarines, you can have your nuclear weapons moving around at all times, ostensibly as a deterrent. So submarines, what are they? Roger, could a collision like this happen again? France's defense minister says his country may begin coordinating sub-patrols with Britain. Bonjour, British underwater boat. Oi, hello, French submarine. So they know where each other's nuclear subs are under the sea. That's all from us for now. We'll be right here tomorrow morning. Whoa!